everything's fine. It's all good. You know, the power's just out. You know? Uh, hello everybody, it's your pal Dropless here and welcome to the last train home. Now, we have been, uh, you know, it's been a long day at work for us and we've just managed to uh, run and catch the train, hopefully going to our home itself but you know it's the last one available and we didn't want to have to shell out for a cab so we've managed we can't go through here so well, well, let's stretch our legs you know i guess we've forgotten our headphones dude there's no listening to music going through our phone yeah we'll let that we'll let the man sleep he, he's he's down on his luck oh this is a big big gap here you know in um I'm not sure if it's the same in America, but in England at least, and the United Kingdom, you don't really get these massive gaps between carriages. You get like a very small gap, not really enough to even one person to stand and smoke on, let alone two or three people to crowd around on it. Good lord, you know? Damn. This ladder doesn't work. You know, when I was a kid, I watched uh, like a safety film, which had a group of like a uh, naughty kids, as it were, who leaped over the barriers and then were like ditch school for the day, and they were on the trains and uh, they were running between the carriages, and there was nothing to protect the carriages. So this girl, she's going between the carriages as the train goes around a sharp bend in the tunnel. And because of that, she slips between. She slips off and dies horrifically. And it was, you know, you know, it wasn't graphic or anything. You don't see her body. You just know what happens. But still, it was kind of traumatizing at the time I watched it. I was like, oh, I'm never going to go between train carriages. And even now, you know, I tend to only go between them if there's a a tunnel if there's like one of those rubber tubing tunnels between. Let's speak to this girl. When to buckle my shoes Free for lock the door Five, six, get your fix Seven, eight, don't be late Nine, ten, you're not my friend. Right then, creepy girl, we're well, gonna leave you be. I'm good. Uh, you alright there, miss? Okay then, you know what? Oh, I'll leave you be. I hope the air helps. Uh, hello, are, are you not a normal person? Well, why am I going past you? No. Oh, let me do it. What voice for him? No, this is not it either. You there, young man. Have you seen the latest papers? I have been looking for it everywhere. If you happen to find it, please bring it to me. Uh, all right, that door won't open. The homeless man has papers, doesn't he? So, let's have a look. Oh, you're creepy as fuck. Go away. Um, do you have the latest newspaper, buddy? Oh, hey there, brother. I didn't see you there. Is there something you need? Oh, you want one of my newspapers? Well, for sure, brother. I can only give you one, though, or I'll get cold. Which one do you want? This one. Here you go. Sleep tight, brother. Oh. What is it, brother? Anything else you need? No, I don't need anything. I don't need anything, brother. I hope things are improving for you. It's always the it's always the people most down the luck who have the least to give, who are the most giving. Like you always, I always tend to find that. And the people who tend to be the most genuinely generous, who aren't doing it for clout or fame or, you know, or to get more money by profiting off their own generosity, are the ones who really have literally nothing to give, but 
they will give the last thing they have nine times out of ten. Ah, the papers you're holding. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Thanks a bunch, young man. Here, take this. I have no use for it anymore. We got a lighter. Well, thanks. I'll try not to set fire to the train. Um. God, you look so creepy. Da, 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 da. Hey, here's a lighter for you, buddy. Here, let me encourage your bad habits. Hey, kid, that lighter you're holding. Could you let me borrow it? Ah. That hits the spot. I mean, I know it does because I, I used to smoke. So that, that nicotine hit can seem heavenly. It's not worth it though, obviously. You know, kid, this is going to be my last cigarette. I was going to retire from the force too. After this last train ride, I'll go home and see my family. Here, look, a picture of my dog. Ain't she cute? Ah, oh, you know, the cutest, the cutest dog in the world. Anyway, kid, smoking is bad for you. Here's a bit of intel for you. The last who's sick between those two cars, she dropped something of hers earlier. I saw a child took it. Why, why, did, why are you whispering? Like, it's just us two here. Uh, I didn't see anyone else in between the two carriages. No one's going to hear us over the train. What could a child want with something like that? Anyways, kid, take it easy. You too, man. Don't forget, smoking is bad for you. It is, it is, I won't forget. You take it easy too. Uh, let's speak to creepy fucking girl here. Good lord. Oh, there's something wrong with her. Hi, mister. You want what the lady dropped? Sure, mister. But you have to answer a question first. Ready? Here goes. Which way do you think the train is going? Um... I feel like we're going east. Just because the way like the, um... The handles are holding. Like, the swaying. Like, it feels like we're breaking... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we are going rest. They're going like both directions. Um, east. Screw it. So that's what you think. <laughs> Wrong. That was a trick question. We're not going east or west. Huh? Where exactly is it that we're going? You're funny, mister. Shouldn't you know where you want to go before getting on a train? Um, yeah, I mean, I thought I was getting on the right train. It's possible that I missed my train and this... I just got one going a completely different direction. Since you answered my question, here. Got a pill bottle. You better give it to her soon, mister. She's getting pretty sick. Alright. Let us give her pills. Uh, ah, you found my medicine. I did. That's better. Sir, you're a lifesaver. I can't believe... Wait. This is all wrong. You shouldn't be here. Listen, you have to leave. Quick, follow me. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Well, the girl's gone. You know, that's good. I guess the mat the guy finished his cigarette too? And the homeless man finished his nap. The train hasn't stopped. And everyone's gone. Um Did they fall through the gap? You know, maybe that infomercial was right. Maybe the guy smoking the cigarette just died and the homeless man went to save him and the little girl ran off as well, who knows? Um and that oh, that door was locked. Oh, you know what? I I'm good. We can. We this isn't the way to go. Oh, oh joy. Oh, this is so good. Oh, and the music. Yeah, that that's that's, that's great. Everything's fine. It's all good. You know, the power's just out. You know. Uh, are those? 
Is that like cobwebs? Is that a lot of cobwebs? If it's cobwebs. Maybe this carriage has just hasn't been used, you know? Maybe the train's going to a depot to get cleaned. A deep clean. Yeah. It won't open. A very deep clean? Um. Is that a little girl? I see the pigtails. Uh. No. No, thank. Can can we just? Uh, excuse me. Spider girl. I I don't want to be eaten. Thank you. Quick, get in here. Yes, right away. Um, open the door. Shut it. Uh. Oh, it's you. Lady who I helped save. That was close. You almost became her food. Or or worse? What do you mean, or worse? Was she gonna lay her eggs in me? Ugh, lovely. Listen, thanks for helping me. But you need to get out of here. This train can't take you home. All you need to do is spin around seven times. You hear me? Seven times. Don't forget. Looks like this is my stop. Uh. May we need to get. Miss? The, the train's still moving. Remember, seven times. The, the train's still moving. Right, um. Did we just witness a suicide? One, two, three, five, six, seven? Yay! Oh, oh, the light. The beautiful light. Oh, oh, it was just a bad dream. You know? Oh, we probably just fell asleep on the track. It's been, it was a long day. Or maybe not. You know, was it that dark in the train? You know, sometimes when you come out for like a movie theater, like the cinema, um, this just because you've been in a, such a dark room, the sunlight's kind of blinding and everything's that so bright and white you can't really see. Maybe it's that. That or you know we died because I kind of suspect something was wrong. The guy who was smoking a cigarette, he was speaking in third person. Um, so maybe we died and that was hell and this is heaven. Either way, it's an improvement. I'm happy enough with that. Alright, that was the end. Well, yes, thanks for playing. You're very welcome. I hope you all enjoyed this video. The game kind of reminded me of... Um, just in terms of the style of uh, this very simple pixel graphics, uh, side-scrolling type game of One Chance. Back in the day, you know, it was, you were a scientist and you had five days to save the world. Um, this was a bit more linear and less options and choices, but just in terms of that graphical style and style of gameplay, it kind of reminded me. I thought that was really nice. It was a really good short game, and I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did too. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment below. And if you want to see more of my content, please subscribe. It really helps me out. Anyways, I hope to see you all in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.